Alrighty, I want to show you how I'm making a jet burner for a natural gas um, application using common fittings available at any plumbing or HVAC wholesale supplier. We have four six inch nipples, half inch, three nineties, two two by half black nipples, a union, one T, a gas ball valve, some JB Weld, a barbecue box connection, a barbecue box coupling, half inch male by three eighths flare adapter for there, and these are our jet burner tips. I ordered these off of Amazon. I'm not sure if they're natural gas or propane. Um, the orifice size I should say and I got the nuts and I'll explain how those work later but these are essentially all the components that I'm going to be using the whole setup maybe cost me $35 something like that I'm not saying this won't burn your, down your house uh, there's no way to be sure but uh, I'm feeling pretty confident that it won't as you can kind of see where I'm going here with the union in the middle there so we'll need the union because we won't be able to obviously make a square and tighten each fitting uh, there's just no way to do it you'll always be loosening one so we're gonna we put a union here you'll see me kind of bend it into place and then our jets are gonna come off of there and I'm using the JB Weld. I'm going to be drilling a hole where I want them. JB Welding a nut in the hole and then mounting the burner jet into the hole. Um, I wa originally wanted to drill and tap these. Um, I might do that, but I should have probably paid a little bit closer attention when ordering these jets. It seems as though, you know, it's a it's a 5 16th by 24 inch pipe thread or uh, thread per inch so it's a bit of a tricky thing to find. I, I got a bit of a mess here but I wanted to show this final connection because it's kind of the tricky one. So I know it looks like a 16 year old on a Saturday night's bedroom here but we'll clean that up with a tube sock later for style points. But So with the union, the way that it's laid out right now it's going to be hitting. There's no way to physically make that last connection. So I'm tightening up here and you'll see what I'm going to do is I'm going to push down on both of these simultaneously and it should kind of, if we're lucky, lock into place. You know, safety disclaimer here, if you're not comfortable with this, you know, call your buddy who's done it once before. Everyone knows he's an expert. This was that joint I was talking about. So we had, uh, it's still, as you can kind of see, it's a little cock, cock eye sideways. I think uh, even the stoners at the back of the class might be able to see what we're going for now. I'm just going to uh, finish cleaning her off. God, I hope my wife doesn't find this rag in the garbage. And, uh, and then we'll get started on the tapping. Because this shit gets everywhere. Tap it, tap, tap. The day is now tomorrow and the mud light has turned into bush light, but you can see what we've done here. I actually added an additional jet here and here, figure more jets more better. We should be good to go. I got my mom and 911 on speed dial uh, just in case anything happens. You can immediately hear it. Safety first, we'll just like the first two with our hands. It is quite windy. So I 
haven't exactly. It might have too much of a fuel mixture. It's a little bit better. But yeah. Healthy blue flame. It is windy, like I said, but feel the heat out of her. So that's it. That's what I think I'm going to try for a first couple of brews. Yeah, I think she should be good to go.